Hi, everyone. It's uh, Wednesday, August 30th. It's great to be with you today. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Uh, we continue to look at these uh, questions that really the movie Moana uh, brings forward, the, the questions of humankind of origins, where do we come from, uh, uh, of, of my identity, where do I fit into that, right? Where did everything come from and where do I fit into that? Where do you fit into that? Where do we fit into that, huh? Uh, and, and also um, the, the, this gnawing uh, thought that things aren't right because we know things aren't right. Uh, and, and the need for somebody to come and rescue me. We, we all have those things within us. Moana brings all these things up, right? Uh, and finally, the idea of hope is, is the future going to be better? That's uh, all of these things are in Moana. Uh, and, and, and certainly uh, they're, they're, they're all put into a, a di di different culture and so forth. But these questions and, and the longing for them are wonderfully expressed in this movie. Um, and God gives us his truth to these, to these questions that we have as humankind and always have had. Uh, and that, that's what we've been exploring this week. Um, uh, yesterday, we, talk, we left it with the idea that God promised to send someone to help us, right? The seed of the woman. Uh, and, and I want to read uh, the first part of John because it pulls us all together, pulls together origins, uh, pulls together who we are, pulls together our identity, and pulls together the Savior in, in, in one, uh, in like 14 verses here. And it's, it's pretty cool. So here, here we go. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. So um, in, on Monday, I think I said it yesterday too, uh, you know, in the first couple of verses of the Bible, you have all three persons of the Trinity. You have the Father in the beginning God created. You have the Spirit of God, the, the, the Spirit of, uh, hovered over the waters of the deep, and you have Jesus Christ. You have the Word of God. Uh, because, and God said, and God said, and God said, there's the word of God. And here in the Gospel of John, it, it, the, the, um, this idea in the beginning was a word. Well, well who is this in, in this Gospel of John? Well, th this word later on says the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. So, so who is this one who is God who became flesh and made his dwelling among us? It, it has to be Jesus, see? And so what this is saying is, it's it, that's what I mean. It's gonna. It's tying this together. It's tying uh, origins, uh, identity. Uh, need, need, things aren't right. We need a rescuer, right? It's tying this all together in in this. In this it's answering all the questions for us. So in the beginning, uh, the Word of God, uh, Jesus was there uh, be, before Bethlehem, right? Because he always was as true God. He took on human flesh uh, when, uh, when he was conceived in Mary, but but he always was. So this one who is the Creator God, together with the Father and the Spirit. Right, uh, uh, no, nothing was made without him. That's what this is talking about in this gospel. It says here, "In him was life," uh, and 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 the word here is zoe. It, this is not simply bios life. Uh, the the Greek uh, talks about those two different types of life: biology life, um, and he's the creator God. Right, nothing was made without him. But now it's kind of turning. In him was life. This zoe life. What is that? What's that? That's life with God. Uh, that's the life of relationship with Him. It says that uh, God breathed into us and we became a living soul, right? We have this, God gave us a living soul because the spirit of God, right, did, did that. Uh, and, and, and so that's the kind, in him was this Zoe life, this relationship with him. So it, um, in him was this life and this life was the light of all humankind. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Uh, and and uh, this calls to be translated has not overcome it. So the light, so where'd the darkness come from? We talked about that yesterday. Uh, and, and it's just assuming that we've all experienced the darkness, all humankind. And we have these questions that we don't have the answers, right? Uh, and, and where are those answers found? Like a light coming on in a dark room. It gives us the answer in Jesus Christ, the light of the world, right? Uh, the, uh, the light shines in our darkness and, and of ourselves, we can't understand it, right? And I, and I, and I love this. I, this is one of the few places in the Bible I think it'd be translated two different ways. And I think God meant it to be that way, right? Uh, to know that the darkness cannot overcome this light, he stands. But also that uh, this, this light shines and of ourselves, we can't understand it. The Spirit of God has to touch our hearts with that reality, right? Through his word. And, and, and then, it, so, so here we have the, the origins. We, he, we were created. Darkness came because of our sin, right? Uh, Jesus, the light of the world, steps in and 
and reconnects us. And even though of ourselves we can't understand it, he gives us his spirit so we're connected again with this Zoe life, this life of relationship with God. We were, our identity, see, is that we're created in the image of God. God's not turning his back on us. He's not going to force himself on any of us. Uh, but he comes after us to give us, again, this, this knowledge and this Zoe life in him. And then it goes on. There's a man uh, who was sent from God. His name was John. This is John the Baptist. He came as a witness to testify concerning that life so that through, all, uh, through him all people might believe. So this belief here is this trust, this relationship. We sort of every relationship, the basis of it is trust. So to trust God's heart, to trust his truth, to trust what Jesus did for you, uh, you see, the, these things. Uh, and, and so John came uh, as, as a witness. God always gives, gives his witnesses. You're one of those witnesses today to, to those around you, right? So, so uh, John came. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every person was coming into the world. So again, this light is, is Jesus. Uh, he was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe, again, this, this trust in him, he gave the right to become children of God. Here's identity. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Right? Uh, he had to be born. Jesus said he had to go get born again of water and the spirit. Points certainly to baptism and the spirit of God there. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Bible is called the sword of the spirit. So the spirit touches our hearts with the eye of Jesus bursts in us this gift of faith and relationship. We can receive that uh, or, or, or we can turn our backs on it, right? But he gives us this gift to be born in him again. Uh, and, and it's this wonderful gift. It's, it's the savior we're all have been waiting for. It's the identity that we've lost, but we're seeking, right? Uh, and, and, and so then this, this closes up. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. This is Jesus in Bethlehem. We have seen his glory the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And then a little while later, it says, no one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only who is at the Father's side, he has made him known. He has allowed the light to come on in our lives. So origins, this is where we came from. Uh, identity, this is, this. we were created in the image of God to be happy and whole in relationship with him and through with each other. We lost that. That's the trouble. Uh, that's the problem. Jesus came to shine the light in our darkness, to touch our hearts with his love and his truth. Um, he went the way of the cross uh, so that we might be connected with God again in relationship through the forgiveness of our sins. We might have new life in him like a resurrection every day and finally forever. Uh, this is the story that, that, that is the true story from God that answers these questions. Um, would, would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, uh, we pray that your spirit would touch us with the reality that humankind is always asking these questions and the only place that they are finally answered is in you. We pray, Lord, that we might receive that as, as a light shining in the darkness and that we might share it with those around us. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow yet. May God be with you. Bye-bye.